I'm going to talk to you guys real quick about gas stations and there is a lot of myths and mysteries on gas and what is the difference between one gasoline and another gasoline. Some people think there's a huge difference and there can be um, but it isn't as big as you might think. So look how much gas is here. That ain't cheap. So anyway, uh, in California right now, gas is not cheap. And this isn't exactly the most ideal gas station to go to. I mean, to go right now. It's kind of expensive. I think it's around $289, $290, something like that. Something at Costco or Sam's Club. That's kind of the benchmark for cheap. But anyway, let's talk about gas. What's the difference between... Um, one gas station and another like Shell has something called V power and basically in order to understand what the difference is between one gas and another you need to first of all know about gas distribution and how it works and a good friend of mine was worked at the fuel distribution center so you know where they have those big tanks of fuel right and they have the, all those tanks all over the place and you see trucks coming and going in those places if you've ever seen that before that's called a fuel distribution center and what what they do is they have two grades two grades of fuel they have regular gas and they have premium gas and all the different gas stations including Arco and and uh, Shell all get their fuel from the same place. Hmm. Bet you didn't know that. Bet you figured that they have their own. Um, they actually get it from the same place. What the difference is, is the additive. Like I just showed you, V-Power. Okay? Arco has something called EC1. Chevron has something called Tecron. Those are all additives they put in the fuel. It might be as little as a quart. It might be as big as 50 gallons. I don't know exactly what it is. He was just telling me he pushes the button, you know, so if they want this formula, it's all, it all comes from the same tank. Then he pushes a button and the additive is added to the fuel. So I'm going to tell you where I go and where I don't go and why. Um, I do not go to Arco. It's not because the fuel is terrible, it, which it is, but it, it, it's because it has the EC1 additive, which is mostly, I think, I don't know exactly what it is. Nobody, they don't exactly give you their formulas, but I think it's alcohol. And alcohol um, thins out your fuel, makes your car run lean, and it's not really what I want to put in my car. But that's not the real reason why I don't go to Arco. I mean, if you got premium from Arco, it's probably going to be about the same as anywhere else. But what I just can't stand is when I go to Arco and somebody parks their car and they go into the AMPM and they sit in there for 20 minutes getting a soda because they have to go back and they have to go back in to get their change and they don't take a credit card. That's why I don't go to Arco because I do not buy gas with cash. It's just too much of my time to go in, give my money, go back, and get my change. Waste of time. Much easier to get your gas when you just use your credit card at the pay, per, pay at the pump, and you're out of there. When you have 12 cars, you get it. Okay? That's all I can tell you. That's what I have. 12 vehicles. I'm just adding them up on the way over here. So, what's the difference between... Uh, some of the gas stations again the ones that don't have an additive probably have a better chance of the gas not being uh, watered down I want to say it's not really meaning watered down ones that don't have additives are independent gas stations also if you look up 76 is it says just gas <laughs> okay, that's what that means is it does not have an additive. 
Um, the other one that doesn't, uh, the other ones that don't have it are like, you know, your Thrifty and, and some of the others. I don't know some of the ones back east, guys. Um, if you want to check out your gas additives for those, it says it usually right on the gas station of what the additive is. Um, and if they don't have an additive, there's less chance that they're going to water the gas down. So, in my opinion, I would just go with the one that is inexpensive that doesn't have an additive because then you're not you know well I mean I guess Tecron's probably good but I don't really know what Tecron is they don't really advertise exactly what it is they say it does certain things but it might just be alcohol and thinning down the fuel I don't know um, but that's kind of how it works so you understand how the, the gas distribution works it all comes from the same tanks it all comes from the same lines it all comes to the same refineries it just depends on the refinery that's in your area and the gas that's in your area uh, diesel on the other hand is diesel <laughs> some guys go I get good diesel I got bad diesel I get no it's all diesel it's the same diesel is diesel is diesel is diesel no matter where you get it it comes from the same pipe under the ground there's a pipe that goes from the refinery to the distribution center underground there's three pipes there's regular gas there's premium fuel and there's diesel underground going from the refinery to the distribution center and to make mid grade they just go half half uh, regular and half premium that's what mid grade is so you can do the same thing yourself if you want so anyway, a little trick there about gas, a little thing, something to know, uh, might help you guys figure out what to put in your projects, in your in your old classic cars and stuff like that, if you're trying to get the best stuff. And there's also EC1 too, that's a, something else, I don't, you know, I guess they have an EC1 pipe now, um, or maybe they just add the alcohol to the regular gas, I really don't know that much about that. So, or that, well not EC1, it's the, what's it called, uh, EV, uh, I don't know. That's, what's that one called? It's for the... It's alcohol, basically. E85. Sorry. E85. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.